Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What are some signs you might be a little extra smart or have more intelligence than you think? That's what we're kind of going to kind of look at today. Uh, the value of intelligence is uh, multifaceted, and people can have different forms of intelligence. So we're going to kind of look at the value of that today. If you're new around here, please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, what are some times you're actually a little bit uh, in a good space with intelligence? Uh, willingness to be humble enough to admit that you don't know things and the willingness to continue to learn new things on a consistent basis. When we're willing to learn, we're willing to grow. When we're willing to grow, we're willing to know what we don't know. And knowing what we don't know is just as valuable as knowing what we do know because the continuation of growth is one of the most important things that any person can do in order to create a better quality of life for themselves for the future from an intellect standpoint. When you are curious about learning new things, you also rewire your brain towards being curious about the things that you need to be able to be flexible about in the um, value for your future. So if you're rigid, you're going to be less likely to be intelligent and your intelligence is, it, intelligence is going to drop. The more adaptable and curious you are, however, the easier it is to deal with strengthening the cortex of the brain that deals with reasoning, problem solving, as well as compassion, empathy, and other factors. So adaptability and, and curiosity along with humility are all emotional um, signs of being more intelligent. Complete intelligence is more about retaining information, recalling information, and the ability to recite and utilize information. So it's not just knowing the things, it's also knowing where to place them, how to use them, and how to bring things forward. When we are adaptable, we begin to call on uh, different aspects of memory, long-term, short-term, and automatic memory, in order to get ourselves through problems and challenges. Being a um, consistent reader or a person who reads a good bit is also a good sign of intelligence because you're putting yourself through different people's perspectives. You're also increasing vocabulary and your ability to be able to identify uh, new things that you need to learn or knowing how to... Um, be able to connect with other people based on differing viewpoints. The more narrow your viewpoints, the more you're going to potentially drop in intelligence because you're, you're missing factors. You're not expanding your mind. And when the mind becomes fixed, we become more likely to experience challenges as it relates to the ability to be adaptable and flexible in the face of either crisis or differing opinions. This is where a lot of the um, religious as well as political and other divisions come from in society. When a person believes that their way is the only right way, they are setting themselves up for an eventual fall, not because their way can't have value, but because without the ability to be flexible enough to see another position and see it as valid even though agreement may not be found, we are also setting ourselves up for ultimately a great deal of difficulty when it relates to trying to solve problems. If the only way to solve a problem is to find agreement, then the likelihood of finding a way to solve the problem in a way that everybody is happy with begins to dissipate and then therefore there becomes an even greater challenge as it relates to trying to find solutions when people feel offended by their overall um, object, uh, objectability and feel, feeling dismissed. Having a good sense of self-control is also important. Just because you have an emotional state doesn't mean you need to act through or from that emotional state. And self-control is a sign of intelligence because the part of the brain that deals with actions and consequences will also give us an ability to process emotions, thoughts, feelings, and results of actions in a different way. So a person who lacks a great deal of self-control especially under great deals of stress, may be seen as a person who, for a bit of time, has less intelligence under pressure and or less ability to handle pressure because of their reactive state. Now, this doesn't mean they're not capable of becoming smarter, but learning self-control is one way to increase intelligence overall. The next is sense of humor. Realizing that life is not to be taken as seriously as we often take it sometimes is also a great sign of intelligence. The ability to connect things together, link ideas, concepts with sarcasm, slapstick humor, and other forms of humor 
it shows the ability to think outside the box and and abstract thinking, abstract thinking, another form of intelligence. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.